Hi, welcome. This is the energy of today, February 1st. I hope you're doing well. Spirit, what is the energy for today, February 1st? What is the viewer need to see? I'm here for today, February 1st. February 1st, please. One more. Give me one more. Okay. So, let's see. First one out is... Oh, you have two, actually. Didn't see that, but... um, Perfectionism. So, this is about uh, polishing up on things, becoming more um maybe having more confidence in something maybe you lost confidence in something um and then the media so the media says you can reach more people by working with video and audio um and then this one here it says the mother mary so uh, blessings things coming in for your life blessings is actually like miracles you know and then the class is about learning um, maybe teaching for you. Uh, maybe this is something you're learning. Okay. And then this one right here, helping children. Uh, this is maybe a new direction that you're going towards. Uh, when you help other people, it really releases a lot of karma from your life. Okay. And then birth. So new life, uh, maybe a baby, maybe a new project that you're starting. Uh, this is definitely the sense where things start blossoming for you, okay? And the one that's sort of sticking out, I just saw, is like, okay, speeches and speaking. So maybe coming up to the, the you know, the podium and speaking and maybe you've never spec spoken to people in public. I mean, it, it's hard. I know it's hard. I, I've done it through TV or um, through YouTube, but it, it is difficult. So maybe this is something you're being pulled towards. For some of you okay so welcome guys i hope you're doing well please like share and subscribe uh, let's see what all this stuff is about maybe you're heading towards a new profession or something like that let's see here um so what is perfectionism it also is telling you with, with perfectionism it's like don't hold on to those kind of uh fear uh, Things that you've done in the past, they created a lot of fear on the inside. A failure of failure, a failure of not being successful in situations of, I think, business or even um, love, okay? So you have the the death card, definitely transformation time. Um, and then you have the eight of swords, the six of cups. Six of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune with the Hierophant. So it's it's you have the three majors coming out, the Wheel, the Hierophant, and the Rebirth. This is definitely that, that power struggle of perhaps maybe spirit wanting you to do this thing and you want to do something else. Uh, with the Eight of Swords, there's interference there. There's a sense of feeling trapped in your mind. Um, is that feeling of being trapped next to the six of cups the sense of you never feel pleasure again um it's almost also where maybe you need to transform and let go of fear to be able to come back into something that is happy and successful in a sense with the six of cups it could be um you know that return of that great love or perhaps maybe the return of you being in harmony and happy Maybe taking yourself to a simpler time in the past because it is about nostalgia and it's about um, receiving a sense of harmony and peace within yourself. So the Wheel of Fortune is telling you you're going towards something very beneficial with the with the Wheel of Fortune. And the Hierophant, maybe this is spirit and maybe trying to nudge you to go that way. Um, maybe this is also a sense of you've never had spirit you've never given any opportunity to god or messages or you know things like that okay so that's definitely a big rebirth it's a definite new start and i do feel um you know maybe this is you trying to free yourself from procrastination or fear um because maybe you think you have to be perfect you don't have to be perfect meaning 
that you know maybe you've done a lot of things in the past that weren't right or things that didn't quite they weren't quite successful for you they might you still might be lingering with those feelings and thoughts um, and it keeps you in that place of uh, where you can't move forward because there's interference um, and it could be it could be mental the eight of swords is very mental meaning you're holding on to a lot of stuff okay what is the death card what is the death so you're, you're trying to reborn uh rebirth something um and really come back to perhaps life you know like um from a place that maybe you've been stuck in the eight of swords energy where you just feel lifeless you're coming back to life again and feeling things with the death card it's a total transformation is what i feel you got the six of swords and that's what the thing is is that you're being guided to leave those feelings that you're holding on to um maybe the feelings of having to be too perfect or you're not good enough or just really stepping out of the box and allowing things to happen for you on a on a positive more uh, a more positive note there you go it's coming in backwards right now sorry what's the eight of swords what's the eight of swords please so you have the emperor and the two of cups with the prince of pentacles so is there there's something here you need to take action on it's really pretty much telling you to take that action um you might be stuck in a place where especially with the eight of swords you're thinking of of things that are maybe in the past you have the devil the three of swords the five of swords the princess of pentacles um that also came over um, with this eight of swords so there's a lot of, of things going on in the mind do I do it do I not do it will this person still be mad will the situation still be the same is this a toxic situation um, is it really built with a lot of sorrow and sadness and betrayal there's a conflict here to leave all that stuff and go forward with the princes of pentacles and the five of swords do you stay in a place where you're not truly happy is that a relationship? Is that a workplace? Is that with family? Only you will know. But I do feel that the, the Eight of Swords is telling whoever this is, you have the power to go forward and really be, have stability, uh, really take back control. If it's something that you want to speak up about with the Six of Cups, you gotta, you really got to step up to the table before this opportunity is gone. I do feel like this is somebody contemplating this now that I see the the Knight of Pentacles here as someone who's moving forward towards something very slowly, probably because there's still intimidation there, but it's very slow, okay? Um, so this could be somebody who's entering a new chapter as far as not keeping themselves stuck in the old way of thinking and the old ideology, you know? That's definitely what it feels like. There's a big transformation coming, guys. Um, February is a big month. It's a big month for reveal. And um, hopefully you've been laying out your karma in the right place so that it comes back to you in a, in a good way. Which I do feel that most of you who watch me are good people that don't cause harm to anybody or, uh, you know, um, or yourself as well. Um but I do feel like there's a lot of stuff coming in in February that are really going to allow you to perhaps let go of all this mm, holding back in fear and procrastination and uh, the sense of um, maybe not being successful or that you're not going to have what you want. Um, the Two of Cups and the Six of Cups is really this kind of thing where if you're missing somebody from the past, whether it's a loved one or a best friend or, you know, somebody you've been apart from and you want to reach out, that's when you do it, really. Um, and the Knight of Pentacles is maybe that offer coming in for you. It could be something that spirit is really guiding you towards. Um, but there's a lot of hard cards here that keep you in that sense of limbo. But let's see what they are real quick um i just want to know what the three of swords is what is this heartbreak about the three of swords that's the one that's calling my name you're healing it you're moving um 
from a place of being defeated and full of sorrow, it's really being able to um, change that about yourself or the situation, okay? What is the media? What is the media? They say, uh, let's see, the media. So maybe you can reach out. So it says failure. Seven of Pentacles with the media. Um, there's really a lot, um, maybe things that, um, what is this? Okay, the lovers. Okay, so being able to decipher between good and bad. Okay, that's what it's saying right there. Um, you got the lovers and the seven of pentacles. So there's something there uh, that could cause you to feel. Maybe you have a, if you are being pulled to maybe, um, you know, be like a public figure, like speaking in public, or maybe this is a job that's pulling you towards something where you need to be more vocal. It's almost as if um, you've got to let go of whatever the failure was in the past and really allow new things to come in. When it pertains to media, also on the material plane, as far as um, on a worldwide masses, there's something coming out in here. Um, what is the Seven of Pentacles? Um, just, they say, be aware and pay attention, is what they're saying. On, on a, 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 like a world, I can see the world. So world um, mass, kind of. A world scale there you go gosh i'm having trouble speaking so c seven of cups um something that was like a blockage and didn't allow maybe true emotion or maybe a sense of security i feel like that's what's going to be changing something will change there what is the lovers please this could definitely be a place where you know maybe you don't know how to speak up in public you know um, what is the lovers or have you been holding back, you know, let's see here, from, from others, like voicing your own truth, you know, let's see here, let's see what they're saying, there's a couple that flung out, out of my hand, so they all went out, so let's see, the lovers is the princess of wand, follow that good intuition, use discernment here, um, the five of cups, by allowing you to maybe focus on something, it's going to let a lot of the stuff from the past go away, okay? Um, and then you have the Six of Wands and the Ten of Cups. Okay, so after whatever this happens here, uh, it, it's it's dealing with something in public. It's dealing with, with the media. It's dealing with something that's going to happen in your environment. But it's sort of going to knock you off your feet a little bit. Um but there's going to be a lot of things that come out as far as disappointments and failures and setbacks. But the good thing about it is that once it comes, it's able to heal things. And you, the last card was the Ten of Cups. So that's ha happiness and that family and coming together. Um, and you have the Six of Wands as well, which is that victory. So something it will shift for you and it'll be a positive shift um you'll be able to recognize truth or um things that are more what is the word um authentic you know that's what they're saying so the nine of wands is at the bottom so there's a lot of uh healing energy that's coming perhaps you're being guided as like um what i see is a person who can help people when a, a lot of crisis happens Maybe a crisis counselor or um, in, this, in a sense, you can stand up and, and guide people, okay, uh, for whatever this is. So be on the lookout, really. Um, let's see. Whatever it is, it is going to be a sense of happiness towards the end, okay? What is the Mother Mary? Mother Mary. Mother Mary. So this is definitely finding your purpose, your life purpose. It might be calling, taking you or calling you towards a different direction than you first thought, okay? The strength card. So don't be scared of it. Um, there's a lot of things that are sort of uh, being tied to fear for whatever reason. Um, and transitions will happen for you in that way. The first card out is that death card. 
which is that transition, that kind of card of transformation. Um, and you know, in tarot, it's it's very much. It might happen. It might have already happened. It might be happening to you now, or it might happen in the near future. So that's a big transformation. Maybe you're in the middle of it and trying to get past all these hard things and maybe this honesty and failures that have happened, but they're going to be washed away. And the strength card is here to sort of shed that skin. And that's the gift that Mother Mary is giving you, a sense of shedding that skin so that you can see your new path. Um, so maybe you're you're becoming to a place where um, what I see is someone who can speak and help others in that crisis, okay? For whatever reason, they're saying that. Um, the strength card, please. But it's really your true purpose, I feel, in the Four of Cups. So really stay at peace, stay calm. Um, really know that you can have that sense of um, success, meaning that maybe in the past you haven't quite felt that success or almost like your time and effort was wasted on something else with that four of cups it's almost like relax it, it's gonna come to it's gonna whatever is is happening it's gonna balance out for you it's gonna give you a, a new opportunity and it's gonna bring you luxury okay um and so what is what is the four of cups what's the four of cups don't don't fret on missed opportunities either okay is what they're saying there with that one Three of Wands. So this is beautiful because you're you're definitely going towards those things that you've been manifesting for some time, things that you've been waiting for, perhaps things that have failed for you and haven't allowed you to go forward. Um, a lot of heartbreak. Maybe you're letting go of heartbreak so that you can move forward. Uh, this is really telling you your ship is gonna um, dock. It's coming. You know your ship is coming. Whatever it is that you've been trying to manifest or maybe waiting for. I feel it's here, okay? Um, what else? Okay, so you have the Princess of Cups. Um, communication, okay? Open communication. Honest communication. A sense of hearing happy news. There's happy news going to be coming. Um, and boy, wouldn't we like some happy news? Because it seems like a lot of the news right now is just negative. But they say happy news, which is interesting. Um uh, maybe this is just a good message that you're receiving, okay? Oh, let's see here. What is it? It is the Ten of Wands. So this news that you're going to hear is going to allow you to put down a lot of baggage that you've been carrying, okay? It, it's quite refreshing. And this one as well, some kind of truth. Some truths are coming out. Um, definitely the truth will set you free. What is the class? Classes. So maybe these are lessons you're learning um, maybe this is even you going to be that teacher or that helper. Um, it also could be maybe you're tapping into your higher consciousness. Yeah, leading you to where you can find your true path, your divine mission. What is classes, please? Classes. Um, the Nine of Wands. So learning how to heal. Learning how to maybe put those boundaries down. Um, what else with the Nine of Wands, please? Nine of Wands, the Empress. And this teaches you to be that magnificent magnificent creature as far as um, like uh, manifesting, drawing love to you, drawing money to you, um, just balance, just this sense of fertility and growth. Um, and it's really the, the how you put, you're going to be able to lay things down it's almost like that weight is lifted and you can become that empress that you've been waiting to be. I just realized you got the emperor and the empress. So are these two sides sort of balancing out? Almost like I see the yin and yang sign, you know. Um, so maybe these are two masculine, a masculine and a feminine sort of balancing out and finding that mission, um, that path, okay, that you're supposed to be on. What is the empress? Okay, so... The Eight of Cups and Eight of Cups with the Queen of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. So walking away from, from lost, walking away from masks with the Queen of Swords. What is the Queen of Swords, please? Some kind of hard, hard, um, hard uh, facts or lies or something. 
queen of so <clears throat> putting down that mask and being real being authentic it's almost like both divine masculine and divine feminine whatever happens it's almost like they're both getting this sense of um, a new beginning without any kind of baggage and it's really karmic justice coming in um, I definitely do feel like that sort of energy from yesterday there's something just stirring even though you don't see it yet they say February is big February is going to be a big month of of reveals I suppose reveals um, give me one what does that mean what reveals what is the reveals please just things things that need to come up okay see the tower there <clears throat> a lot of us been living under faulty foundations whether it's something that's been forced on us whether it's something that maybe we have refused to end that we need to get out of especially with the three of swords the eight of swords the five of swords and then the six of swords trying to take you away from that whatever this is it's been based on lies and false foundations and what the tower is going to do here is going to wipe it wipe it away really allow you to see the lessons that you've learned and maybe guide you to that that true mission that you need to go down okay um so it could be something very um abrupt something very shocking um something like that okay so just keep your your be aware in other words and how does this story end for today okay let's see you got the Ace of Wands. That's beautiful. Starting over. Um, and then the Two of Swords. So maybe making a choice to let go of stuff. Following the ideas and those gifts that are being given to you. Um, what else, please? What else? What else here? The Seven of Pentacles. So those obstacles, those things that failed you um, are starting to be able to be taken away. You're going to still gonna make more than you were making okay um what else security uh they said security um meaning protection okay you feel secure to move forward there's that page of cups so you're secure to move forward giving an offer to maybe that twin flame or that soulmate because look at this is not just two wands coming together this is some a couple coming together okay for some of you the hierophant really stand up for it with the seven of wands the 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 hierophant is that god spirit that's trying to get you to change and you hold the key for that change but you got to stand up for it and i do see someone standing up for it so very nice really um <clears throat> let's see here let's see what this is what is their karmic cycle here how will it end their karmic cycle how will it end so the butterfly you're in transformation how funny you started with the death card and then this is pretty much representing a transformation so you have um it says relationship evolving to the next phase healing the inner child growth beautiful and then the heart um healing from the heartbreak freedom from toxic relationships or addictions okay let's see what else please what else that's just what's gonna happen yeah passion insane chemistry loving each other equally and having fun okay so let's see here what's the whispers of love for this message the whispers of love please what is the whispers of love whispers of love miracles and blessings everything has a gift and that's definitely new blessings coming in with the ace of wands and treasure your loved ones okay and then this one as well do something for someone else and that really um clears up your karma i'm telling you okay so let's see here what is the insight for today what's their insight for today what is their insight for today please okay so it says dream be it dream big you let your desires expand there is no limit to what you can create in your life. You can accomplish far more than you ever imagined possible. Yep, and that's what I think that's what's happening. That's a new creation is coming. Something you didn't see happening, really. Um, let's see here. 
whatever's going to happen is going to allow you to leave a lot of darkness and see things clearly, they say, um, which allowed you to go down a cleaner, clearer path, okay? Um, innocence, starting over, okay? Beginning again, innocence, um, turning away. So this gives you the opportunity to turn away from those things, the five of swords, the three of swords, the just the heartbreak and magic. So magic, really destiny and, and just the universe unleashing just blessings on you okay it's really a nice healing so um let's see what is the message here with this one okay so you have um let's see fertility really abundance maybe you're starting a family okay if it's not it's prosperity it's that abundance you're attracting for yourself and life purpose life purpose came out three times so there is something here that you're going to be waking up to and it's sort of going to make you clear whether that's going towards that new relationship, maybe an old relationship, maybe that new business or that new partnership for a business. Okay, something like that, guys. Um, <clears throat> there's a lot going on for everybody. I try to tap in onto, into a little bit of everything for everybody. Let's see what this is. Okay. <clears throat> what is the angel message here? The angel message. What's the angel message? Okay, so it says here, uh, Francesca, what do you desire right now? Visualize it and it will come about. Negativity will block your progress. See, yeah, and it's about staying positive. And this is a good manifesting time as well, okay? So let's do this one and we'll end it with this one, okay? Uh, let's see. I haven't asked yet, but let's see. Okay, what is their message as far as with this one? Okay. Okay, so you have the two. You have the maiden, which is really about starting over and opening up for new new um perhaps love perhaps prosperity letting go of your darkness we've gone over this one before and then the um the eros love guys eros you know the 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 um the cupid who uh i think he fell in love with persephone he was he was uh shooting the bow and arrows and uh he was cupid and he actually shot himself and fell in love with Persephone, I believe. Um, but let me pause it and see. Very curious. Hold on. All right. So, yeah, the, the maiden is really about uh, virtue and, you know, um, being innocent. So I feel it's almost like starting over the same thing that I felt with that one. Um, and then with the euros, it is love as desire, uh, erotic, sensuality, passion, playfulness, sexual health. Uh, the Hindu goddess Lafita, she who plays, can help activate Euros energy. She's also known as Kampa, uh, Empress of Desire. Okay, I can't say her whole name. Um, and then it says, um, Plato reminds us that Euros can be experienced as Plutonic love. It is activated when we witness beauty and truth in the world when our barriers are softened and that is what's happening in the world and that's what's going to be big in february where uh we're going to be able to see the truth in the world and it's going to really bring um, a new beginning for you um and then <clears throat> so it says here um what what are you longing for why are you awakened by love what makes you hesitate and face the intimacy so euros reconnects you with the primal longing to merge with another human being nature um, arts plants food or everything that you perceive we are separated from so definitely maturity also it feels like so i definitely do feel hold on tight buckle up okay let me know it is uh for um the 14th is valentine's day so we are in that sense maybe Maybe this is a drive to love. Maybe this is just a drive to authenticity, 
authenticity and it's going to help you mature okay and bring in new things so there you go i do hope you like the reading thank you so much for your time i appreciate you guys for all that you do and just visiting me i'm going to show you the dogs because they're so cute they just this is what i have to look at when i'm doing your readings and they're just so funny no, they hear somebody out there. Hello. Yes. Say hi. Oh, you're not over there. Over here. Hi, Roycey. Oh, hello. Hello. Okay. All right. You guys have a good day.